the Randy Ready Talk Boxing Show. Katie Taylor should win this fight unanimously. What why scorecards? Uh, punches landed 133 to 70, 395 to 297 thrown, 34 to 24 percent. Katie landed 128 64, 303 to 245, 42 26 percent our punches. Katie. So, pretty much how we broke it down and predicted right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for tuning in. I am your host, the host of your show, Mr. Ray. And again, if you are a newer viewer, it's your show. Let this be a nice new home for your boxing talk. Let's see what these scorecards are. Oh, I'm late. We're late to the party, just fucking up. Just fucking up. <laughs> 12 and 0. Just like we predicted on the show. Champion at a lower division, but if you watched her fights, the her punching volume slowed down over her years. She, she's 38 years old, 37, 38. Her punching volume slowed down. It was just too much speed and too much foot um, speed as well for... Uh, Valstrom, Katie, it was just too easy. The body, the shoe shine body work was nice. Uh, like I said, if you're going to pinpoint, like I said, you can only pinpoint things because Katie is, you know, pretty legit. You know, I look at she's taking pictures with her humble. They're they're so humble. She's so humble, taking pictures with her friend. You know, she she got that. I even got I even got a crack right here, a forehead bust right here. But so if you're gonna pinpoint what little things like um, Sergey was saying about about Katie with footwork that she has and in and out, in and out movement, hitting the points, scoring the points, you would like to see her start to add the angles and come in on attack from an angle. Because already people are having a hard time with her speed straight ahead. If she go like tap, tap, one and jump to the side and come in from an angle, it'd be pretty dangerous. More dangerous, as we should say. But the corner was telling like, hey, you're doing a great job of attacking and dipping out. But now, fuck the dipping out. When you attack, stay in the pocket and start delivering these shots. And that's when she started coming. I think it was around five or six. Even the special guests. Uh, Gina Rodriguez, she's, and you can tell which referee is her dad. She has the face features, the jawline, the mouth. You can tell uh, who her dad is. Hey, let's plug her movie. She's coming out Miss B- Miss Paula. It looks pretty cool. You know, drug cartel, hostage turned fucking uh, heroin, heroine, whatever. You know, Miss Paula, go go watch that. Uh, I'll check it out. I like shit like that. So like that. Katie Taylor looked phenomenal. I didn't see nothing in here that, like I said, yeah, it'd be cool to see her attacking from angles. You know, the, like the only thing that's going to beat Katie Taylor, and I always said it was, was movement. Because even though she's good at feet, if you could reset someone's feet, especially if someone who uses their feet a lot, so they're depending on the foot rhythm, and you're going to change their foot rhythm to get a new foot rhythm. With a long jab. That's the only way you can really... And then just smuggle. Just smug and mugger. Let's see what they're saying real fast. Performance. Yeah, I tell it was a very good performance. But it's obviously a fantastic... Double RT boxing great show. show. I knew it was up against... Like, I knew it was going to be a great showcase for women's boxing. It was a fantastic 10 rounds. It took massive... It was a pretty good 10 rounds. ...for so many Irish people. So thank you so much for the support. Yeah. 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 You know, Sugar Ray Leonard sitting here ringside... And- uh, they're talking about the shoe shine. Well, it was an easy victory. Hopefully, uh, Pearson and Queen Rose somehow come up. But they're already talking about uh, Amanda Serrano fight in 2019. Should be interesting. But me, myself, I think Serrano has been just paper fed all those belts. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. I, I, I would love to see Katie actually put it on Serrano. You know, you know, like I said, Des Serrano had that jab and movement to beat Katie. Shit, she won six division, seven division fucking women champion. 
can she get a jab and movement going? Let's see what this sixth division champ is all about. Fucking paper fed champion. Well, we we shall see. So I'm looking forward to that fight because I feel it's kind of weak the way Amanda was just getting all those belts hopping from division to division, not defending shit. But Katie Taylor, uh, like we like I said, we do predicted an easy victory. Oh, watched them, watched them offered nothing, no no threat, no this. Just points at the points, you know. Katie rocked her a few times. Now it's it's getting it's getting to that state where, like I said, another pimple thing. The, the the combination punches, the threes and the fives. Let them go going from twos to fours. Sit down on a little bit, you know. Come in at angles with some harder shots. You know, you can always mix up those combinations later. Like for instance, like someone who did like Josh Greer Jr. did like, last night. He mixed up like it's easy like one and twos, one and two. And then the combinations came with some harder shots. You know, he peppered them and boom, harder shots. See Katie Taylor do that like one and twos, then ones and threes, then round five. You know, threes and fives, then the fucking three and four power punches come. You know, so it, it'd be cool to see her mix. Her flow. She, 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 what she does now, she keeps them coming peppery, but she mixes really good up and down body work. Let's. I would like to see her come with angles now and mix up and down. Still body and head work, but with power level changes. I th- you know. Does she need it? No, but it'll be. I think it'll help her more. You know, she could get some. Uh, fan attracting, commercializing shots and effects from her fights. This is the Double RT Boxer Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. New viewers, hope you become new subscribers. Thank you for giving me your time and support. And the ones who are subscribed, here's the thumb back to you. Bring it on back to the show. Thank you.